Hi, I'm Jules from Bonnie Bakery and today I'm going to show you how to make my Biscoff cheesecake. This cheesecake is not for the faint hearted. There is Biscoff in the base, in the cheesecake and in the topping. So if you really love Biscoff, this is the dessert for you. It's a no bake cheesecake, which means it's really quick and easy to put together. It does have to chill in the fridge overnight, but really there's only a few minutes of work and then you have this amazing, gorgeous cheesecake the next day. So pretty good deal. It's some pretty basic ingredients. We've got your cream cheese, obviously your Biscoff. Uh, we've got some heavy cream, some powdered sugar, some melted butter, vanilla, and then some crushed up uh, Lotus biscuits, which are the, the Biscoff cookies. All right, let's get started. So I'm starting with the base of the cheesecake. I have a bowl here of just crushed up Lotus biscuits. I did them really quickly in the food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, you can put them in a bag, think of your eggs, and smash them with a rolling pin. So I'm gonna pour my melted butter right into these biscuits, and then I'm just gonna mix them together. And once it's all the way mixed in, you should be able to just squeeze it together in your hands and have it hold its shape. So I'm just gonna tip this straight into my cake pan. I haven't greased this or anything, I'm just pouring it in. Make sure that you have a loose bottomed cake pan or a spring form cake pan, otherwise you won't be able to get your cheesecake out and that would be very sad. And then I'm just going to press this down. I like to use my hands, but if you don't like to get your hands dirty, you can just use a glass or like the underside of a measuring cup or something, which I'm gonna use in a minute anyway to pack it nice and tight. I like to start with the hands. So like I said, you can use the back of a measuring cup and just press down. Or I love this nifty device that I found in the store. It just kind of rolls over it. It's quite satisfying. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna pop this aside while I make the cheesecake filling. Okay, I'm using my stand mixer today, but you can do this with an electric whisk, or you can even do it by hand. It just, it takes a long time and I'm lazy, so I'm gonna use the stand mixer. Um, I've got my heavy cream here. Uh, use double cream if they're in the UK, or in North America you can use like heavy cream or whipping cream. Just make sure it's the highest fat content that you can find. And make sure that it's cold as well, because that's gonna help it to whip up really nicely. So I'm just pouring that right in and we wanna whip this to stiff peaks. Okay, that is really nice and thick now. And I'm just going to pop this into another bowl because we're gonna use the mixer again to mix the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just going to spoon this into here until we need it again. I'm putting the whisk attachment back on. There's no need to clean the bowl because this is all getting mixed together in a minute anyway. I'm just gonna grab my cream cheese. This should be at room temperature, so it should be nice and soft. Let's take this off because it'll be easier to pour. So pour that all in. And then in goes our icing sugar or powdered sugar. This is an entire jar of Biscoff. I told you we were not playing any games around here, so whole thing goes in. <laughs> and lastly, the vanilla extract. And then all I'm gonna do is whisk this together until it's really nice and creamy and everything is combined. Okay, it's done. That really only took a few seconds. Look at that. Oh, I just wanna, like, I mean, if you want, you could just give up now and eat this out of the bowl. That would be good too, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the whipped cream and stir it into this mixture just to loosen it up a little bit. That just won't make it so hard when we try and mix in the rest of the whipped cream. And then I'm just gonna fold in the rest. How gorgeous does that look? Oh my goodness. You just wanna keep folding until it's totally incorporated so there's no more like streaks of white. This is how it looks when it's done. How much do you wanna lick your screen right now? Let me know in the comments if you're doing that. Okay, then we're just gonna take the cheesecake pan that we prepared earlier, and we're gonna pour this in. Oh yeah. Make sure you get every last bit of biscoffy goodness out of this. I will say as well, this is a tall cheesecake, so you wanna make sure that you have quite a tall cake pan. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. So I'm just trying to smooth it out. We're gonna put a topping on this anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just helps if there's a nice flat base for the topping. 
That is literally it for this Biscoff cheesecake. How easy is that? I'm gonna put this in the fridge now to set. I'm gonna leave it overnight. If you didn't wanna do it overnight, if you wanted to do it all in one day, make sure that you leave it for at least eight hours in the fridge. Just because if you try and slice into it when it's not quite set, the whole thing is gonna fall apart and it'll be really sad. So I'm gonna put this in overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll decorate it. All right, it is the next day and our cheesecake has been chilling in the fridge overnight. Now it's time for us to get out of this pan and decorate. I took this out of the fridge about five minutes ago, so I should be able to just push it up out of the pan. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take a palette knife and smooth out the edges, just to make it as pretty as possible. So this is how it looks out of the cake pan. And now we're just gonna decorate. I have here a bowl of Biscoff that I just melted in the microwave for like 15 seconds. You can decorate this however you like. I'm gonna use this to do a drip around the outside of the cheesecake just because I think that looks really pretty. Um, but you could just like pour it on top and let it set or you could drizzle it however you like. I'm just gonna snip the very end off just a small amount. Once all the drips are on, I'm gonna just use this to fill in the rest of the space on top. So this is perfectly beautiful as it is, but I like to be just a little bit extra, so I'm gonna go another step and put some whipped cream swirls on top. This is just regular whipped cream, just like what we put in the cheesecake batter. And then for finishing touch, I'm just gonna crush up some of the lotus biscuits and just crumble them on top. I think there's nothing more appetizing than crumbs of something. <laughs> All right, time to slice into this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to bite into this. <laughs> That's a really big bite. <laughs> okay. I just had to take a minute there to really take all that in. This is the perfect cheesecake. It's so silky and smooth. The texture is wonderful and the flavor is just unreal. It's like, if you love Biscoff, you're gonna love this. Even if you don't really like Biscoff, I feel like you should try this. It is so good. The challenge is not eating the entire thing. So that is how you make my Biscoff cheesecake. It is such a great recipe, so quick and easy to put together, as you just saw. And just the results are insane. It's silky smooth and delicious, and just, it's a real winner of a cheesecake, so definitely give it a try. If you do wanna make it, the full recipe with all the ingredients in both cups and grams is on my blog, along with some extra tips and tricks. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. If you did enjoy this video, I would love if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe, because I put out new videos every single week, so we can make more delicious things like this together. I really hope you enjoyed it, and happy baking.